Hola people de YouTube, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a otro capítulo más de Red Dead Redemption 2 con el buen John Marston. Así es, así es. Y ya saben, si les gusta, comenten, compartan, suscríbanse y den like. Ok, me siguen en todas mis redes sociales. Mi link está abajo en la descripción. Acá va. Y bueno, pues a ver, íbamos a. A ver, quiero echarle un coyotito a John. Dice descansar contra el fuego. Dormir. A ver, que duerma. Que duerma unas 8 orejas. Para que recupere el Jedi, ¿ok? Y le estamos construyendo su casa a Abigail, güey. Para que regrese con nosotros y seamos todos una familia feliz. ¡Una familia feliz! Claro que sí. Ok, mira, ya está, recito. Me gusta, me gusta. Y ya ahí recuperó eh, John un poco de... De saludcita. Muy bien, misión. Tenemos una misión con... Sí, mira, la otra misión desapareció, güey. Bueno, pues tenemos que ir con... Uncle. Venga. Ah, mira, Uncle está acá. A ver, ¿qué pasó, Uncle? Yo no he jugado Red Dead, Red Dead Revolver, pero dicen los rumores que según el prota de ese juego es este güey, el Uncle. ¿Quién sabe? ¿Los planes make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you <laughs> want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day is over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get off? <laughs> I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy. John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Ese ruido que escuchan es la bomba de agua de los vecinos, eh? You're very annoying. He's right. She get on with this. Lumbago. Tiene lumbago. Voy a investigar qué es eso. No es lumbalgia. ¡Uy! ¡Perro! Ya. Vamos a construir una casa, mano. Yeah. ¿Y las colones se encargan o qué? Una prefabricada. ¿Dónde se encargan, güey? Levantar. Ay, sí, güey. Pincho que les dio huevón, güey. El John se está rifando por su vieja, güey. Qué cabrón es, eh. Pues espera. Toma. 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 Yeah. 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 Vamos por atrás. Me dan ganas de hacer esto, no sé por qué. De construir una casa así. ¿Es mi instinto de hombre acaso? Yeah. 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 Vamos. Vamos, Charles. Eso, mira, vamos bien, eh. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever. No matter. What the weather? Clavar. We're together. Bueno, gracias. <coughs> o sea, aunque no tiene el tacto para decir las cosas, pero quiere ayudar, ¿no? O sea, nos tiene estima y todo. Venga. Ahorita no mames, pusimos todo mal, güey. <risa> ah, pues mira, ya pusimos el pisito. Tardó, pero quedó. Ay, ay, este... Mira, chillón, qué pechotes, cabrón. Yeah. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Sí, güey. <ríe> Ayúdanos, son con no mames. Ah, o sea, como que nos dan las estructuras así ya, como en los... Las maquetas A 
let me have a rule and a boot and I'll cut it. I mean, si están rifando, eh? Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. Woohoo! Well, we work so hard to build yeah. a house together. Lo malo es que por eso valen verga las casas en Estados Unidos, porque salen madera. Y no de cemento mamelón. Bah, bah. No matter. Mira, ahí vamos. <risa> Buena, John, te estás rifando, bueno, en Chile. Ok, vamos ahora, vamos a poner la teja. Aquí donde yo vivo hay muchas casas hechas de adobe y de teja. Muchas. Ándele. Ándele. Uf. Uf. No mames, señor, se construyó una mega casota, güey. John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this heavy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. Okay, I'll write a card for our love. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and. While I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Hmm. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please. Come back to me. Yours always, John. Ah. Unos días después. Entre clavos y vaqueros. Completaste un nuevo desafío, Jerusalén. Dice. Ahora mira ese güey. Ni agarró el sombrero. Andaba levitando. Te rifaste, John, al chile. Vean eso. Y sin saber nada de, de arquitectura y todo ese desmadre. Un nuevo Jerusalén. ¿Qué vamos con Onco? ¿Dónde está Onco? Aquí está para allá. Oncol, me imagino que es ahí donde está la fogatita. Vamos, mira, de hecho está bien así para que seamos más cabrones a la hora de correr y no nos cansemos tanto. Oncol, ¿dónde estás, padrino? Acá está el güey. Ahora tú. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just one. <laughs> Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? <laughs> no. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, a lumbago, <laughs> two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming. Farming, ranching, ranching, planting something. 
only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. A barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Okay, now we're in a granero. Let's give you another go, girl. ¿Y dónde está Charles? ¿Se fue? Ve a la maderería en Blackwater. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse, and I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I see you walk into my lumberyard, I think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate, and some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. <laughs> ah, you ain't even got furniture. Muebles, es verdad. Ay, todo lo que conlleva tener una casa. Eh, bueno, en ese entonces había tierras, güey, para poder tener tu hogar. Ahora ya está muy cabrón. Comprar un terrenito, una casa. Pero bueno. John lo está logrando. John está haciendo lo que todo cabrón quiere en esta vida. Un techito. Claro que sí. Porque eso de rentar, no mames, está muy cabrón, güey. Es mucho dinero tirado a la basura. Porque al final no es tuyo. Pero en cambio, si logras conseguir una casa buena... No digo departamento porque a mí no me gustan los departamentos. Ya viví en uno y... Ay, luego los vecinos son muy escandalosos. Pero si logras... Eh, conseguirte una casita bonita... Y que sea para ti. Porque si rentas, cualquier día te puede decir la persona Oye, ¿sabes qué? Ocupo el lugar y... Habla con el vendedor de madera Tickets Hola señor, necesito ahora un granero And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily I'm sorry, I've... Um, how are you? Dame suministros a barn, of course you do. All them potatoes. What kind of farm livestock? What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. <laughs> How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, that, this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? <laughs> of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? Hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got me work. I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. 
With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right then. Come on. Híjole. A ver si no. Bathroom Sadie, he's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that bar. Sadie. We have on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay. I'll follow you. Cabalga. Sure is. Entonces, vamos ahí. Vamos a cabalgar, mija. Okay. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo guy. Del Lobos? Del Lobo. Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin. You're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bale? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And my uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Mars has got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh! Is it a Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. I think the caballo... Se ve... Now be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Sí, señora. Lo que usted va a necesitar. Híjole, es que está bien pinche lejos, ¿verdad? Ah, mira, ya llegamos. Estás bien, eh, Azabachita. Te anoto... Te anoto un poco cansadita. Mira, está en rojo, güey. Tengo que comprar cosas para el caballo, güey. Necesito comprar cosas para el caballo. Que mírenlo. ¿Cómo está? Ánimo, Sabachita. Ánimo. Keep going, bro. You're okay. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Tú puedes, tú puedes. Eso, ánimo, ánimo, ánimo. Ahorita que terminamos la misión para comprar. Ok. Es 
Sí, mírala, a ver, ya cómo está. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. All right, if you get it. Let's get it now. Señor, ¿está usted aquí? A ver si es la duda. Patear. A ver si es la duda. Ya está haciendo las madres la sal. ¿Le quedó? Ramón Cortés, we've come for you. Ah. Siempre pasa lo mismo. Déjame, puto. ¡Ah! Vaya, vaya, un mexichango. Ah, se crean, yo soy mexicano. Puedo hacer esos chistes. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Huevos. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramón. Let's go for a ride. We're going to. Quiero mi sombrero. Sombrero de Arthur. Boina. Sombrero clásico de John. Rose. Rose. It's different there now. Sigue hasta día hasta Rose. Okay. Want her? You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. Oh shut up. Oh shut up. Está bien que vayamos a Rose porque así ya podemos comprar ahí cositas para para sabachita, güey, porque pobrecita la anda sufriendo. Yeah. Híjole, a ver si a ver a ver a ver a ver si alguno de estos trabajos no nos chica. Cagadas son más peligrosos. Rose. No, yo no quiero venir aquí, amiga. Acuérdate que terminamos bien mal. No, no, no. Ya no deseo venir aquí. No, no, no. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Okay. Ata el caballo aquí. Ah. Aquí. Okay. Around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Lleva, levanta a Roman Cortez. Okay. A ver, viejito peleloide. Vámonos. Mando el mexichango. Digo, no, 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 no se enoje, no se enoje. Yo soy mexicano, puedo hacer esos chistes. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Ramón Cortés. Ramón Cortés. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, Mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch him hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Este está riendo mucho, eh. Uh -huh. Sheriff Thomas 
Sheriff Thomas. You want their friend back? You have no no. ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it. Huevo se armó. Órale. 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 Cabrón. Toma. Huevos. Toma. Verga, no le di. Ahí está. Ahí le tiene el sombrero. Toma. Órale. La sale ahí en chinguiza pa para tronárselo. A ver, nos falta uno, mija. No, nos faltan dos. Están aquí, están aquí. Su casa. Puta. Fue, un, fue una distracción, güey. Sí. He's gone, he's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pass what's over. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. Uh, you want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go. Chico bigotón. Mamá, viejo bigotón, pues usted tiene que encargarse de su cárcel. Ay, está bien, vamos con este güey. Vamos a la machita. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stolen off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. Mames Cortés, si nos sacó distancia. Y si se lo llevamos muerto. Then go right ahead, but not when you're on one of my jobs. Hey. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Pues uno es ante la ley. What they're loyal to. Uh -huh. Sales, dog, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. Exacto. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Pues es que sí, o sea, al final estamos recibiendo dinero, pero pues es por parte del Estado, ¿no? Que va a pagar y todo por las recompensas. Eh, pues el dato es un poquitivo. Es verdad lo que dice esta Sadi. Ya de ti depende a quién le sirvas, en quién confíes. No. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point.
Órale, pues, mi amorcito, yo te sigo. Vamos, se quedaron ahí en el puente todos peleloides. Chulo, se sota ahí. Must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Oh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. <laughs> They look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Okay. la cabecita papito ahí está huevos huevos toma perro toma creo que alguien se acerca hacia mí eh dónde le disparas a ti acá toma toma ah no más ándale para su casa Asalta, ¿quién no asalta? ¡Sadi! Ahí está. Ahí está. Ya voy, ya voy. Ay, cabrón. Baja, John, baja, 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 poquito. Rápido. Eso. Venga, venga, venga. vivo, eh. A perrillo. Recargo, deja recargo, mami. No, toma. ¡Dispara! Eso estoy haciendo, carajo. Ándale, ahí está, mira. Ahí está, ahí está, vamos. Está muerto. ¡Arriba! ¡Eso hago! Es que... Ah. No mames, aguanten un menos balazos estos gallos A la verga Toma Ahora, ¿qué es eso? Toma, vamos, vamos Cúrrele, mi amochito Ahí voy Está muerto Ay, güey. Ay. No, descubrirme. Ah. Cortes. Cortes. Venga. Sí, sí, sí. Eso intento. Recarga, recarga. Wey, no se muere. Ok. Apunta al barco. Sí. Ah, 
Do you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. Ay, vale verga, pues es que le estoy disparando, pendeja ¿A qué putas quieres que le dispare? A ver, otra vez Ay, me lleva la verga desde aquí Ay, me un putazo No, este, este A ver, venga, otra vez Cúbrete, John Ah, vale, verga, si no me puedo cubrir, güey Me sorprende que aguanten tantos balazos Apunta, apunta Arriba, sí, sí, sí. Toma. Toma. Listo. Me recargo. Ay, le viene el puto sombrero otra vez. No, se agachó. Quita sea. Ahí está. Vamos Ahí está Sí, sí, sí Arriba Ahí está Apunta al barco de Ramón y captúralo con vida. Ah, se va a hacer eso. Sí. 
Take my money. I got gold, lady. But you were just saying you was gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. <risa> Estuvo buena la plática. <risa> es que no, no estaba hablando porque estaba escuchando qué onda. Ya, mijo, usted ya la van a colgar. Deja de ser el pinche castoso. A ver, vamos. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. <laughs> money for old Rome. <laughs> if you say so. See you around, partner. Y luego, ¿qué pasó, güey? ¿Qué pasó, mano? Ah, ya regresamos a nuestra tierra santa, a nuestro rancheto. Debajo del sombra. Ah, mira, es el granero. No, es la casa. ¿Es el granero? No, es la casa. No, sí es el granero. Sí, mira. Atar pony. Yeah. You'll be fine, girl. Stay put. Okay. Caballo. No puedes gestionar tu caballo porque tu caballo activo está en el rancho y no tienes ningún caballo guarda. A, ¿A poco sí, papito? Cepillar. Vamos a cepillarlo. Toma. Tengo que comprar cosas para el caballo. Está, vamos a darle otra cepilladita. Listo. A ver, vamos a ver la, la casita, ¿les parece? Y hasta aquí ya dejamos el gameplay. Ah, sí, entro yo. Andale. A ver, ahí hay una mesita. Pues están estas cositas. Aquí es como la, la cocina, por lo que veo. Ajá. Ok, esta es la puerta trasera. ¿Y qué hay aquí? Ah, este es el cuarto de John. Ok, es eso. Buscar, ¿qué vamos a buscar? A ver. Cerrar, no hay nada. Ok. Viaje rápido. Ah. Viajar. Ok. Ok, gente, pero que hasta aquí el gameplay del día de hoy. Yo espero les haya gustado, se hayan divertido y se les hayan pasado muy bien. Si fue así, ya saben, comenten, compartan, suscríbanse y den like. Síganme en todas mis redes sociales. El link está abajo en la descripción. ¿Va que va? Creo que aquí vive este uncle. Sí, se ve que aquí vive uncle. Y pues nada, 
Eh, esto estuvo entretenido. Híjole, a ver si esas amenazas no se vuelven reales, eh. Ah, mira, aquí es el baño. A ver si esas amenazillas no se vuelven reales. Pero nada, eso lo estaremos viendo en el próximo empleo. que van a dar miedo ese güey. Así que, ya saben, cuídense mucho. Y nos estamos viendo, ¿de acuerdo? Adiós.